Yo, what's up? This is your boy Trey Cross with another Angry Rebound. And I have here a guest speaker, Mr. Rocky, aka Frankie. Go ahead and say something. Holla. Holla, holla. What's up, guys? Yo, this is me being a guest tutorial advisor with Trey, which is a very helpful man. You should really watch his tutorials. Alright, so today he's gonna show you his colorings and his AMG. Yep. New MV, which I really liked and appreciate the originality in it, which most of you do not have. And hopefully you won't copy the same. Just take the idea and be original, like Trey. Alright, this is Trey. Let's start. Alright, so let's go ahead and start that, guys. And don't be like original like me. Be original like you. First, we're going to click on New Adjustment Layer. Now, first, I'm not going to go over the simple stuff. You want to go ahead and edit, trim, all of that, cut, paste whatever you do in your videos, Vegas, pan, crop, blah, blah, blah. Then you want to add the effects and adjustment layer. So I'm going to show you how to keyframe all of that and what I did. So I got a PM from one of you guys saying that it, I wasn't being lazy. It was, uh, what you got, I took time on it and just said it was lazy just to look good. But that is not true. I was being lazy. It was very simple. So Rocky said, I go ahead and do generate four color green in it, right? Yes. And he is right. That's, That's what I was. Nice. So I change the blending mode to overlay. And I do not keyframe it. I'll leave it alone. Very simple. Also, what you could do is go to effect. And this is the key to those nice colorful edges that all of you guys were like talking about. It's stylized. And you want to go to fine edges. Basically, what uh fine edges do, they take the edge of any clip and make everything that doesn't have like nice pointy edges visible. And what I did was click invert, and now you have this nice thing. But let's just move the clip up so you have a nice part to it, or whatever. Now, as you can see, it already doesn't look good, it's not the best thing you want to lose. So, but it doesn't work with all scenes, I think. It works with faces mostly, yeah. It works better with faces or like real footage, not anime, but it still looks cool when you just have it flashing. And so I'm going to show you guys how to keyframe that. So there's two ways you can do it. The, day, the way I did it was I actually keyframed the effects itself. You can actually go ahead and keyframe the opacity inside your transform and then turn it down. And then you have that nice fade-in clip. So let me do that again slow motion. Let me zoom in too. You want to click on the drop down to adjustment layer. Make sure you go to your transform drop down. Click on op opacity. Is at 100%. Once you find that nice beat to the music that looks like the music fade out, you want to turn the value to zero. Now, basically, that's what's that saying is turn the um, adjustment layer, all the effects on it to go away, fade it out, don't lose it. And then you'll come back and bring it back up. And then so on. And you can uh, loop that. You could go ahead and copy, go to effect, I mean, edit, copy, and then paste. That's simple. And now, if we preview that, you have the nice effect that I lose. Any uh, ideas or anything else you think you should add, Frankie? I think this worked quite good, but maybe I think Flash would be good. Maybe show them how to make Flash with it. Yes. Flash is right, right. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to make Flashes and how to uh, lose it. And I might... Show you guys, depending on Frankie's decision, uh, an expression that you can lose for it. Up to him though, because I don't really want to show it, but if he says so. So there's different ways you can do sure. flashes. Go ahead. There's practice and contrast, I guess. If you want to make, like, just in Vegas, most of the editors these days use brightness and contrast in Glow. Even in After Effects, you still have brightness and contrast. You can make flashes with that effect, which uh, does look good. But it's quite better than Vegas. It's more professional and detailed than Vegas. He learns better terms than me. That's how smart he is. No, I do not want to clench the thing. I'm sorry, guys. So, yeah, you can lose bright, um, brightness and contrast. And, yes, it is effective, but it's not as good as it used to be. Ever since After Effects kept upgrading, it has not looked good. But there are different ways. The only two ways that I have lose for flashes and... Fading are, I'll either lose channel, 
solid composition and that's only when I'm entering a video into the clip not to flash it up and as you can see if you bring down the source opacity it's basically turning white and you can change that to any color also and the other way that I do it which I really like is going to effect color correction exposure basically what exposure is it takes all the whites and brightens it up if you increase it. I think I explained that in my other video and then it takes all the darks and darken it up. So as you can see it's still kind of bright but all the darks are getting darker until it completely takes the cold screen away. The same with the brightness. So what I did was to brighten it up. I had it at uh, negative 2 to turn all the darks at dark when I had the uh, define edges to it. I'm going to go ahead and delete these keyframes. I'm going to make new keyframes all the effects. Make sure your blend with originals at zero for five inches, and your cut four color gradient you don't have to touch. And now you want to move into frames. You can use the page up and page down keys. And then we're going to turn the blend with original all the way to 100. And then we're going to change the exposure to two, increase it to two. And now you have this nice bright from dark to bright. And you want to do the same, going back to zero. So I'm going to go to my effects. You can usually you hit the U key, and I'm going to copy and paste it. Control C and then Control V for pasting. Control C for copying, Control V for pasting, and so on. These are called shortcuts. You might be able to need. All right. You want to do shortcuts at all times, if possible. And now you see it's exactly the same. Nothing too special. Nothing too hard for you guys to lose. You can lose this for anything. Just looping things out can help you out. So, Frankie, should I show them the expression or no? Have you even uh, lost it? The expression I showed you? Have you lost it yet or no? Yeah, a bit. Not too much. Yes. Alright. Well, there's an expression that loops out things. If you guys don't know what expression is, that's your fault. But expressions are like codes for After Effects, and it can help you tremendously, like it, at least expressions all the time if possible. So you want to hold down the Alt key on a Mac or a PC, I mean Windows, wherever you're using, and you'll click on a keyframe. Now you must have two keyframes, at least two keyframes. And now, right here, we're going to type in an expression right here if you click on the drop down. Make sure you have the expression enabled with the equal sign. So you're basically going to tell After Effects, I want this clip or this effect to go from negative two value to two value back and forth, and you want to keep doing that over and over again. So this is what we're going to do. Let's type in backspace everything. We're going to type in L O O P for loop, uppercase uh under bracket, and loop out. And we're going to use. Damn, what do you call those things, Frankie? Um, French guy, so I don't know that. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll leave it in the description so you guys can just see it and you can just copy and paste it. Yeah, that would be a lot easier for me. Yeah, that would be easier for everyone, right? Alright, so after you type in that, if you go into the video and you, if you keep going, you see how it's still getting brighter? You see that, Frankie? Basically, what we just did, we told After Effects to keep doing that and loop it out over and over again. And it'll do that for eternal. So, like, there's non stop to it. So, what I'm going to do is copy the expression, do the same to this right here, to your fine edges clip, paste it. And now, if we go farther in the video without having to keyframe and all of that stuff, which I didn't do. It is still going hit strong with the effect and all of that. Very simple. And this video will be in HD, as most of my videos are, if you have widescreen and all of that. So, anything else you want to add, Frankie? I don't think so. I don't think so. Not for this tutorial. Alright. So, hope you like this tutorial, Frankie. You want to say anything before we leave out? No, not really. Hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions, contact me or Trey. Maybe try more because <laughs> that was funny. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. All right, guys, this is your boy Trey Cross with another era. Oh gosh, with another uh, <laughs> tutorial. My fault. All right, see you later.